Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of HGV Talks. Uh, my name is Breezy, and I sit here and talk for about 10-15 minutes about my life and what's going on at the moment. Um, <laughs> it's not the most exciting thing of all time, but it's what I like to do on my Sunday morning uploads. Um, we had a good week of uploads this week. I didn't miss a day. We did an episode last week. I was blah breezy. Uh, feeling much better this week. Um... Not like 100% better, but like better in general. So, you know, can't complain. Um, let me open that. And let me see if there are any comments on the last one. Let me pull them up. Okay. Uh, before we get started, 11 minute podcast. Now you're even a part timer on your podcast. I mean, that's pretty much how it usually is, Benny. I mean, come on, don't be surprised. Um, also, Benny said something about the. Uh, the better move sets because i talked about doing the new playthrough which we started this week which is going really well i'm excited about it which also reminds me i have a ton of editing i have to do after this man i got really far ahead on recordings with the soul link with mac which was always it was really nice um the soul link recordings are one of the harder ones to schedule and work my day around because mac is you know a few hours back for me so for him like early morning is like noon for me like when it's right when he's ready for recording so when i'm recording around noon it's like it's kind of hard for me to record before that and i usually have to wait till after but then i have to edit the videos and stuff later on so it's kind of like tough to me to, for me to work around soul link recordings so it's nice when we can do a little bit of a bulk recording and get caught up uh, i'm sure you guys noticed i was able to get more hours in this week streaming than I usually do, which isn't much, but it's more. Um, let me see how many hours I did this week. Let me see. Let me see. Um, I did. That's today. I did six hours. I did some VGC. Uh, which was the first. I've talked about it so many times, but I finally actually did it and played it on pokemon showdown for a while and it was actually really really fun it was really really fun uh but over the last week i was able to do like three that day um well two that day and then two that day i think that was when we were recording still I think we recorded earlier this week I think we recorded monday um let me see Okay. All right. Yeah. So since we recorded, okay, it wasn't as many days as I thought. Um, but I think after we were done recording, I did like a nice three and a half hour stream, a couple of three full three hour streams. I did two streams one of the days, and I did two streams today. And I got the new series started, so it's nice to be able to like get a little bit more in. It's not nothing crazy, obviously, um, but still, still better than nothing. Uh, this. What was I going to say? I don't know. New series is going good. Facebook's going good with short form videos. TikTok's going good with, you know, the streams. The videos on TikTok are kind of hit or miss. Nothing crazy. You know, nothing to really speak on right now. Everything's kind of just, you know, typical. Uh, YouTube shorts have been kind of like mid over the past couple weeks. YouTube shorts are weird, man. I'll go through like a week or a month where every single video pops off like crazy. And then I have a month of just like, maybe I hit a thousand or 2000 views. But before it's like, you know, like today my video got 59 views over the course of, you know, 12 hours or something like that, which is super crazy. But some of the videos are just taking a while to get going. Um, but the long form videos are doing good. The live videos are actually doing really well the last couple of days. Um, I was averaging like 40 viewers yesterday. I averaged like 30 something today or something like that. You know, I just had like, like really good viewership. It was nice. Uh, so hopefully the YouTube continues to pop off like that. Cause if it does can help with, you know, getting my subs, my subscribers up and hopefully it's subscribers that actually like Pokemon. So, you know, translate to viewership on, you know, these series and these podcasts and everything else. So hopefully it'll, you know, all come together for me. But um, yeah, everything's going kind of good. Um, I what else is going on? 
the school school we talked about school on stream or in the last couple of videos but i haven't talked about it since the last podcast the last podcast was before i realized this but the community colleges in massachusetts are now free for mass uh citizens residents i don't know what word you want to use so i can go back to school and i was talking about it with my wife and she was saying uh she was like you know my she was like my family's so annoying because they like kind of give her crap because they're like oh what is you know keith needs to like you know he doesn't have a job and she's like he does have a job he's he's self-employed he like does this content creating stuff but they're just like old school russians and they don't get it they think I just like sit at home and play video games and like she just works and pays all the bills, but they have no idea that like that she tries to explain to them that I make money doing this, but they just don't get it. And I don't think they ever will. But aside from that, like that conversation, it wasn't a big deal. Me and me laughed off. It's not a big deal. But um, because of that conversation, I was saying some because I think her grandmother was like, you know, he should go back to school and get a degree to be safe and whatever it is. And you know, because she was talking about her saying that, I was like, you know, I honestly, I do want to, you know, eventually go back to school, like when the time's right, you know, it's just, you know, I'm not trying to like spend money and not be able to follow through with it and just end up with more student loan debt that never, you know, pays itself off. And Michelle said, she was like, I think I saw something about the community college stuff being free now. It wasn't super expensive to begin with, but I mean, still a couple thousand dollars a semester, you know, still stresses you out. So when she said it was free, I was like, for some reason, school being free compared to it being like a financial, uh, like commitment for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know if it's just where I'm at mentally now compared to where I was previously going to school, but for some reason, I feel like so much way more motivated for it. Like I want to. Like I already, I applied, I did my FAFSA and everything like that. And like, if I can get into classes this fall, like I'm so excited. I like, I don't know why. Like I never, I've been kind of excited to go back to school in the past, but it was always like, I was so concerned about like the end goal of like finishing. I think maybe now, cause I'm in like my dream job. This is more or less just like learning, just knowledge. And you know, I'm not like trying to get out of a career that I hate or a job that I hate. And I'm trying to use school as like the way out. There's like less pressure on me completing school or getting my degree or whatever. It's more or less just something I want to do. So it's a, uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I'm excited. I'm excited for it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to go for yet. I listed engineering, mechanical engineering as my option because that's what I did before I was doing that. I didn't go super far into it, but it's some, I don't know what credits still going to be like counting towards my degree it's been a long time it's been seven years since i was in school and i dropped out of that last semester i was in which was legit seven years ago this fall I'm pretty sure it's 2017 yeah i think yeah, yeah yeah it was it was 2017 um seven years ago so i don't know what class what credits is still going to count or what standing i'll be in i don't know i really have no idea but Hopefully I can get some information on that. I just did the applications like last night. So it's going to take a couple days, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, it's an exciting thing going on. It's ex- thrilling. I don't know exactly if I'm going to do engineering just based off of, you know, that's something I'm interested in. And I wouldn't mind doing a career with some sort of engineering, you know, applications. Uh, someone said I should, I could do something like business management or like, like, I don't know, graphic design or, um, something with computers or something that can help me like be better with, you know, my setup and my overlays or just my PC in general. I don't know, something that could apply to my current job of being a creator. That could be one thing or I don't know. I don't know. Maybe video editing will be something I do. Who knows? But regardless, that's something that's happening. So next week's episode, hopefully I'll have an update on that. Um, what else? What else? Um, I talk about this all the time and I have been, but um, I am definitely taking a legit break from drinking. I know I've been saying this forever and I do it once in a while, uh, but I did blood work with my physical a couple months ago. Probably. I don't know if I talked about it on one of these. I'm sure I did. And my liver enzymes were a little high 
which is something that can happen from like prolonged just consistent drinking you know so but i was like i was literally like i forgot that physical was coming up and i was like damn i was like i kind of went hard a couple days right before it so i told my doctor that no point in lying to your doctor they're just trying to help you so i was like yeah i was like i've been kind of drinking a lot lately so she was like all right let's reschedule it like two three months or whatever it is we'll do you another test and try to you know see like know what's coming up and try to you know take it easy a little bit and see if it's any different so after that appointment i didn't drink for like a couple weeks and i kind of got back into doing it a little bit here and there and i haven't really had too many like crazy nights i haven't really gone super heavy with drinking but just kind of you know still got gotten a little too consistent again but knew the appointment was coming up you know i didn't drink crazy the days but leading up to it didn't drink the day before did the blood work and my enzymes were even higher this time so that makes me think i mean I, don't, I haven't talked to the doctor yet i don't know like i don't truly know how to you know translate these lab results it's just i just see the uploads um but um sorry my neighbor just texted me uh yeah so i was like it went even higher than it was last time and i was like i feel like i even cut back from the last time i did the test so uh, I'll try to get in touch with the doctor and see what they say, but at the end of the day, it's definitely something I, I know I need to do it less and I've been wanting to do it less and less and I have been, but still go through spurts of, you know, getting a little out of control with it. I feel like, um, so I'm going to try to do absolutely no drinking all August, which is going to be tough because we have some trips planned and, you know, so we're going to the Cape for a couple days and going to be by the beach, but I can, I've done it before and I can do it again. So, uh, going to take it much more serious this time because this is you know my health not not a joke i can't be messing around with it uh i feel i was talking to a friend yesterday the day before too he was saying that he hasn't drank in like six weeks or something like that he was like you know i've been he's like, i'm trying to do just i'm trying to do a year you know i just don't feel like i feel like see how my body feels after a year of no drinking and i was like you know that sounds like really that sounds really appealing to me <laughs> so I was, he was like, you should try it out. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to. And it was before I even did this blood work that I was saying that to him. So, you know, it kind of lines up. Something I know I want to do and I need to do. So I'm going to try to really stick with it this time. Um, but yeah, uh, feeling feeling all right. Hopefully things will keep up. I'm planning another Soul Link. I don't know if I talked about it in the last episode. Um, I originally, last year, I did a Soul Link I just said, did I say Soul Link? A subathon. Did I say subathon the first time? I don't know. I've done a lot of recording and editing and streaming today, kind of all over the place. But um, another subathon. So last year we did one in February, and then we did one in August. The February one was like an anniversary stream. The August one was, I think it was just everyone saying they wanted me to do another subathon. I really don't remember how much planning I put into the last, the August one last year. I don't remember if it was kind of last minute or if I just didn't really plan it through as well. I know I didn't really have as many sub goals and stuff like that. I know I did have some. I did because I did like the cereal giveaway. I did. I did a couple other giveaways. And I did. The, did I do the glitter beard for that? I think I did. I think so. I really don't remember. Um, but. The first subathon in February last year was for like four days. The one in August was like three days. So I'll, leading up to this last one in February, you all know, I was like, you know, I'll do two minutes per sub. You know, it can't get too crazy, right? It'll be, you know, maybe it'll be seven days or eight days. And uh, 44 days later, uh, it was it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. So it was a, it was life changing. Obviously, um, my streams have been doing better. Ever since then, my viewership's been better. I got verified on Kick. I got the KCIP program. So now I earn money when I stream. But I was honestly, after that, I, it ended in April. I was like, I don't think I'm going to do the August one this year. Like, that was always the original plan, do one every six months, pretty much. People, you guys love the subathons. It's obviously, it's a good, it's a huge boost for my stream, not just financially, but my viewership usually you know spikes and you know i get a lot of new people who show up during a subathon that stick around for long term afterwards so they're great for my channel they're great financially they're bad for my health <laughs> especially because i'm usually just door dashing eating like crap and then drinking too much so but so i was thinking about skipping this august one but 
I did the little surprise a thon a couple weeks ago and I was I was really honestly concerned about how much like anxiety I would have if like people started putting too much time on the clock and I was I honestly was perfect I was fine I was good during the surprise a thon I think I I think it was also because I knew people weren't prepared for it and it probably wasn't going to get that crazy and I only did 1 minute per sub which is why I did the first two subathons um so it was obviously a much smaller scale thing still insane how much people donate on a short notice like that but you know like i said still very very small scale in, in comparison um but i think i'm gonna do one this august again i decided this and talked about this with everybody before i thought about this whole school thing so i'm torn on what days i want to do the original plan was going to be uh the last week of august like started on like the monday that week because my anniversary is on the 24th. So I'm going to probably want to take some days off that weekend. So I was thinking about starting on the 26th. Um, for that, the trip in the Cape that we're doing is the third week of August before my anniversary. So I didn't really want to do anything before that. But then school starts the first week of September. So if I do get into the classes and start doing stuff, I was like, damn, starting a subathon right before I start school when, you know, I've historically been pretty bad at school, so having distractions might not be good. Uh, I'm starting to think, like, should I start it? I don't want to start it, like, next week. Because the options I feel like I have right now is start it sometime next week. Say August 6th or 5th. Like, next early next week or late next week. Like, the 9th started on Friday. Um, knowing ahead of time that if we do that and it does go past the 16th, I have a trip from the 17th to the 20th. If the subathon goes beyond that one week, it's going to have a four day pause. It's going to have a break. I can't help it. Um, I'm obviously going to have to just, dis- I have a freaking pimple on my forehead. I just scratched it. Um, I'm going to have to discuss it with my wife, obviously, before I make any real decisions, but that's one option is start it, you know, sometime next week. If it goes past the 17th, then we pause for a couple days or we start it late August. And if it goes, you know, into the school year when it starts, I'm just going to have to do, there's just going to be a lot of short days and I'm going to have to, you know, do shorter streams during a subathon, which for me, I think the best part of the subathon is doing like 12 to 15 hour streams. So I would hate to do like a six hour stream, seven hour stream, like multiple times a week. I feel like that doesn't feel very subathony to me. I like it to be like, I wake up, I go live until I go to sleep as many days in a row as I can, you know? Uh, so I don't know if you guys got any, if you guys have any preferences or what you think I should do or what makes the most sense, I'd love to hear some feedback. Obviously this is, like I said, it's more for you guys. Like I know people ask me when's the next subathon every stream. There's someone saying when's the next subathon, when's the next subathon. So like, I know there's people that love them. They want them to happen. I obviously enjoy them a ton. They're so much fun. But I want to make sure I kind of plan it out and schedule it with you guys. So if you do, if you guys do have any input on what, what time you think makes more sense, then let me know. Um, and anything else? Anything else? Um, uh, Pat. Oh, Pat's comment. I, just, I read that one while I was out one day when it came in. Uh, Pat, you, you've been commented on my podcast for years. I appreciate you, man. You've been sticking around for a long, long time. Uh, you said content creation and all that comes with it could be a lot. All that goes into it behind the scenes, the stuff people don't think about. 100% true. Not just time behind a camera or microphone that people see or listen to. Been podcasting for eight years. It's a daily hustle to edit up, uh, get episodes posted and recorded. Yeah, I feel like you're in a rut as well. Some of the content creators that talk and experience, share experiences with can be helpful for sure. It definitely does. Uh, it can also encourage and spark new ideas yeah uh it's definitely it's all it's definitely tough to like explain to people like the stress or the difficulty of this job um people no one thinks it's a hard job and it's not always a hard job some people hit the lottery it's like playing the lottery some people or it's it's like having a hard job and you play scratch tickets every week and once in a while you hit on the scratch ticket and sometimes it's like 5,000. It's like, Ooh, I got a nice little bonus, but I still gotta like, you know, continue working. I can't like take, I can't like retire now, 
But some content creators, you know, work for a month and hit a five million on their first ticket and they go viral immediately. And then that's the easiest job in the world. They're just rich and they can kind of sit back and do whatever they want and their money makes some money. You know, it's, it's not the same journey for everyone with content. Uh, but you know, I've loved how mine's has gone. Like I said, it's, you know, it's, I wouldn't change. I wouldn't trade it for the world. There's no job I'd rather do, but that doesn't mean it's, you know, stress-free, you know, even, even Nikola Jokic, said something like everybody hates their job. Like even he doesn't love being in the NBA. There's people who you think it's the dream job, but if you actually had to, even when you're not feeling good, you're not a hundred percent in the mind state and mind state to do it, but you have to show up and do it anyway, no matter what that thing is that you have to do, it's your job and it can suck some days or some weeks, you know? So, but overall I do love it. So uh, hopefully it just keeps, Keeps going along. Hopefully the subathon will be another good boost to the viewership and maybe get me over the hump that I'm, I seem to have been stuck on for years. But I'll leave it on that. I've been rambling for a little bit now, and uh, it's getting late. I got to edit, upload this bad boy. I just did two other videos, and yeah, got some, got some busy days ahead. So appreciate you guys listening. Leave some comments, uh, like I said, so. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.